Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing well. I know these are very difficult times. I'm sending all of my strength to you warriors out there and welcome back to Grow. Today we're gonna go around the house and we're gonna pick some plants to propagate using three very easy methods for plant propagation. So I hope that this is useful and let's get to it. You know, the first time that I witnessed the beauty of propagation was when one friend of ours gave us some plant cuttings from the plants that she had at home. These were very small plant cuttings and it's been so nice to see them grow into their own plant. Also, it's so cool to know that the love that our friend put into her plants now is growing in our plants at our place. So now, let's get to three very easy ways that you can propagate your plants so you can grow your collection at home and share them with your friends. The first propagation method that we're going to do today is called rooting in water. This is my favorite method to propagate my plants and this is because it's super easy to do and also when you grow the roots in the water you can actually see how they're growing and how healthy is your plant. For this we're going to need some cuttings. So let's get to the plants. So the node is actually when you see two branches growing from a single joint. And then another clue that you can have is that generally from the node, you're going to see some area roots growing. So you can see, for example, right here and also this one right here. This is where the roots are going to grow from. So all I'm going to do is maybe cut right below this area root here and right below the node, maybe one centimeter below. and. So for this, I usually reuse my containers. I like to use glass transparent containers because then I can see the roots growing and I make sure that my plant is growing in a healthy way. So for example, we have here, uh, this one I'm gonna use for this Monstera. This is a juice bottle here. So I'm gonna put it over here. So for example, with this mermaid jar here, we're gonna use it for our potos. One thing to remember is that when you put your plant in the water, you want to make sure that the leaf doesn't touch the water. So here it seems to be fine, but some of the leaves are kind of low. So I wanted to show you a very good strategy that I have learned to prevent the leaves from touching the water. This idea comes from a very nice book and it's called Root Nurture Grow. And I wanted to show it to you because I think it's super nice and I think it works really well. The first thing that we're going to do is to soften the clay with our hands. Roll it into a bowl and use your rolling pin to make it flat. After we make it flat, I remember to make it at least five millimeters thick so it doesn't crack when it dries, we're gonna measure our jar. So we're gonna put it upside down so the open part is gonna be on top of the clay and we're gonna measure a little bit bigger than the opening of the jar. So I'm gonna put maybe one to two centimeters bigger and I'm gonna cut here just around the jar, just like so. So now we know how big our circle needs to be. Then we're gonna make a hole right in the center of our circle and this is where the stem is gonna go through. So make it as big or even a little bit bigger than your stem. 
understand. And we will try to create the shape of a funnel. I actually like to make it a little bit more organic with my finger and let it be for about 24 hours or at least for this one it's about 24 hours but just check uh, in the packaging of your clay after you make sure that you waited the time that is appropriate for your clay to dry we can start painting and I decided to do some vibrant colors so let's get to it After the paint dries, we're going to cover our rooting tooth with some varnish. This is going to protect it from the water. So, the next method for propagation is actually going to be propagation by division. The name says it all. We're going to divide the plant from top to the bottom all the way to the roots. This way we get another plant from the same plant instantaneously. So, let's see how to do it. So first, we will use our tablecloth or plastic bag to protect our working space. Then, before we start anything, we need to decide where we're going to divide our plant and this depends on the structure of the plant. Remember, this kind of method is for plants that grow in cluster. So this means that they don't grow from one single stem. So this would be, for example, the calaceas, this piece lily, or the asparagus fern. So now, let's start the process. The first thing that we're going to do is to take our plant out of the container. And the way that I'm going to do it is that I'm going to put my palm on the top of the soil. And I'm going to use my fingers to protect the stems. So kind of like this. And now we're going to take it out. Perfect. You're going to get some soil on the leaves, but that's okay. We can clean it after. And we're going to set it aside. So I'll just put it here. Then we're going to prepare our pots. And let's get to dividing. So as you can see, some of the roots got caught, but that is okay, they're going to grow in no time. And there we have it, two piece lilies out of one. Okay, on to the next. The third method that we're going to do today is related to the aloe vera and other succulents. I usually propagate my aloe in two ways, so I want to share with you in this video. So the first way that I do it is through offsets. Offsets are small babies of the plant. They usually look really small and they are usually beside the mother plant growing right beside it. And you can just take them off. If they have roots, then you can plant them right away to in the soil. If they don't have roots like this one, then you can actually plant them in the soil, but you have to wait a little bit for it to callus. So that will be maybe two to three days, and then we can plant them in soil. This one already has been out for two to three days, so we will plant it together. The second way that you can propagate your aloe is using the leaves. So this one, we cut the leaf, it's super easy. And then seven days after, you can plant it in soil. The seven days is to give it time so you can callus. So let's plant them together. We're gonna use some succulent soil for this. And this is because the aloe is a succulent and it needs lots of drainage. So we're gonna put some in the pot. So now we're going to make a hole and plant our aloe. Put it right here. Hmm. 
Remember to keep the soil moist for two to three weeks so the roots can actually establish themselves in the soil. After this period, you can just treat this as a succulent and let the soil dry in between waterings. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for this moment together and be with me while we propagate all of these plants. If you propagate any of your plants and use any of these methods or any other method, make sure to share in the chat or in the comments or Instagram so we can all learn together. I'm sending all of my positive energy and love to you and your plants. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao! Mwah.